Welcome to another Blender tutorial. We're continuing with the lava lamp project. This time we're going to add the lava blobs inside the lava lamp. So the blobs are made from metaballs. So we'll add a metaball. This is too big, so let's size it down. Okay, that's right in the middle. That's fine. Let's just adjust that. Let's duplicate it. Let's add another metaball there. And let's adjust the positioning a bit. When you're adjusting the positioning, make sure that the metaball stays inside the lava lamp and doesn't stick out of the lava lamp. Add another metaball. And one more. Okay, so notice how, let's just turn off the glass for now. Notice how the meta balls stick together a bit until they reach a certain distance and then they separate. So that's what a meta ball does. And let's turn the glass back on. Okay, that. They're all inside. And we can just move that down a little bit. Okay, you can position them wherever you like. Okay, these are called meta balls, so that's fine. And let's render it. Okay, they're black. And they're black because light, when it's ray traced, does not go through the glass and then bounce out. You need direct lighting for transparency. Okay, so let's add a light. Deselect everything, add, and we're gonna add a spotlight. Okay, that spotlight is pointing down, so that's good. We'll put that spotlight inside the top of the lava lamp. And let's just check the coordinates. It's not at zero, zero, so let's put zero, zero. Let's do a test render before we duplicate it. And the brightness seems a little bit high. So we don't want it to be quite that strong. So let's make it 0.8. See what that looks like. That's not too bad. So let's leave it at that. And we'll duplicate now. We want this to go down into the base. Okay, again, we'd like to be centered at zero, zero. And we want the light to be pointing up. So let's rotate this upwards. So that's rough. We'll just zero it out, make it precise. And that should be 180. Okay, so we have light coming from the top and through the bottom. Okay, so let's give this meta ball a material. And you can color it however you like. I'm going to make them purple. There should be very little specular for this lava material. So let's render that first. So they're purple, so that's good. And we want some transparency for this. The Fresnel is going to be low. Let's start off with one to see what that looks like. So that's not too bad. We want to increase the depth and render. And to get rid of the harsh shadows, we can add a little bit of a mitt. So 0.1. And that gives us a decent look. 
And the next part is animating these metaballs. So we don't want the movie to be too long. So let's change this to about uh, 180. And for our frame rate, we'll set this at 30 frames per second. So that gives us a six second video. We'll turn off the transform. And what we'd like to do is add a keyframe. Location, 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 location. And you can see that we have keyframes by this symbol. So what we'd like to do is go to frame 80, or whatever frame you choose, and I'm just gonna move the meta ball. So I'm gonna move this one up. And over. And insert another keyframe. And I'll move this one up. I'll move this one up higher. I'll move it in a little bit just so that it doesn't touch the glass. And again, insert keyframe. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to frame 100. So I moved metaballs two and three, I need to move metaball one and zero. Okay, so this one's gonna go down over a little bit and this metaball, this one's gonna go, I'm gonna insert a keyframe, select this metaball, move it down. And over, and insert keyframe. To make the animation loop properly, what we need to do now is go into editor. Okay, we'll select the first meta ball, or frame one. Deselect everything. B, select all of frame one. And control C to copy. We go to frame 180 and paste. Select metaball one, A, deselect all, B, select the first frame, copy, and we're already on frame 80, so we can just do paste. And metaball two, A, B, control C to copy, and control V to paste. Same thing for Metaball 3, A, B, Control C, Control V. And go back to our 3D view, and we can just run the animation. And we can see the balls move, and it loops. Okay, so that's good. So now we need to render the whole animation. Okay, that's a little slow, so let's render it at 15%. And then when it's done rendering, you can hit play. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, the lava lamp blobs don't normally move that quickly. So you can render out a longer animation and you can render out a higher resolution animation as well. Remember when you're rendering your final one, you want to make this a movie, and you can use the H264 and select your output directory. You can create it on desktop if you like. 
and uh, give it a name. And render the animation. Okay, and if you find it acceptable, you can just crank the size back up. And that completes this lesson.